Before this challenge, I told all of you how important it was to stay connected and to work as a team. Let's face it, every dinner service, there's always one chef that has to pick up the slack from another. It happens in my kitchen on a daily basis. Someone gets in the weeds, you help them out, right? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's start off with the shrimp and grits. Pass them down, please, thank you. Okay. Blue team, who was responsible for this one? Chef, I was. Grits are slightly anemic. Yeah, so I don't see that mature cheddar in there. Heard. Please tell me, the man from Baton Rouge nailed this. Wow. I mean, that is extraordinary. Whether this rounds by a mile is the red team. Nice job, Milo. One point, man, I'm feeling good. Like, I wasn't going to fuck up mine in the midst of cooking all these other ones. As Motto gets the red team off to a strong start. OK, let's go. Kane will try to bring the blue team back as she faces off with Jose in the battle of fried chicken. Chicken's delicious. Wow. OK. Mm, it tastes good. Really nicely seasoned. Mm. That point goes to red team. Thank you, chef. And the blue team. Thank you, chef. Uh, next up, veal scallopini. OK, visually, they both look great. Yeah? Now feeling good? The veal piccata is something I do often, you know? It's a banging ass dish, and it's served on, like, every Italian-American restaurant in the country. Slightly concerned, the fact that I've got no color on here whatsoever. Oh, dear. Chewy, and that doesn't have the magic of a delicate, melting veal. Brett, you're supposed to be Mr. Italian. This is an Italian dish, man. Where are you at? What happened to your veal? Blue team, who cooked the veal on here? I did, chef. The point by a mile. Blue team, great job. Thank that you, is chef. delicious. Really good. We have a tie with two left. Uh, spaghetti meatball. Let's go. OK, thank you. Red team, the meatballs. Who cooked them? They cooked them, chef, and it was finished off a model. Hmm? Wow. That's good. Delicious. It's soft and it's uh, really good. Could have done with a bit more sauce. Uh, right, who was responsible for the meatballs? I was, chef. Wow, that's soft as well. Yeah. Wow. This is really tough. Um, Point goes to the red team and the blue team. Yes. Right, so we have a tie with one dish left. Chapinis. Let's go. OK, blue team. Uh, visually, it looks beautiful. Beautiful season. Really good indeed. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Red team, who plated the ingredients? I did, Chef. All of it? Yes, Chef. They actually cooked beautifully. Did you use any of the cooking juices from the clams and the mussels? Oh, yeah. Every, the, everything was in there. Yeah. That's the essence. That's the, the magic you can't buy. Delicious. Thank you. Uh, really good indeed. The dish of the day. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Chef. No, it's just a shame you're missing a key ingredient. Oh, mother. What's wrong with your dish? Forgot to put the fish on the plate. <laughs> it's sitting right there, too. Oh, my God, I can't believe this guy. He was the first person to put his dish up, and he left out the freaking fish. Don't act like the boss if you're not the boss, man. What a shame. I'm having flashbacks to my season. Where is your puree? Sitting behind you. Why'd you make a stunning puree like that and then not put it on the plate? Spaced out? You would've been the only one. Right. You're supposed to learn from your mistakes. I guess uh, I don't. The winner is the blue team. Congratulations. Oh, oh. It feels amazing right now. I feel like we worked really well as a team. Yet again, I've pulled my weight during the challenge, and I want to just keep this momentum going.